this might be the actual first mesh RDA that I actually like. Wow, these are really, really tiny. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I was sent for the purposes of the review. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about this situation specifically. Okay, everybody knows who Damn Vape is. Now, if you don't know, they did a couple things. They did the RDA that had the little lolly tool, which I fell in love with. It was essentially like a coil jig, but what it did is it allowed you to make... A, a coil that looked like a stovetop, and that's literally the type of coil, stovetop coils. I'll put that link over here somewhere. I think it was called the Dread RDA. Really, really cool, but I guess it just didn't catch on. Now, I did keep the tool, and then later on, I did the Freja RTA, which was also another good product. I don't know if this company is actually a subsidiary of another one, like a bigger company, but they've made really, really good products. So the other day, so the other day, Brie was browsing the interwebs, and she's like, Jay, what is this? Showed me an RDA, never have seen it before. But apparently, it's extremely innovative. But here's the kicker. First off, I know where you're going to go. Jay, you don't do mesh. Don't do this. Don't do this, Jay. There'll be hot spots. Let me just break this down for you. Guys, listen, I know how to do builds. I don't care if it's mesh wick. A lot of people don't know about that. Uh, I, I don't care if it's a mesh strip. So what had happened was I was vaping on it. And look, you can rewatch that video and then you can argue it and say that uh, I didn't know what I was doing. Totally fine. Whatever. I'll get over it. But the thing is with mesh is it all depends on how you're going to wick it. For instance, if I do mesh and it's just essentially uh, a, a strip of metal and I don't pack the cotton in it properly, you're going to get hot spots. Hot spots are typically because really on mesh, not so much on coils, but on mesh, if there's not enough of cotton touching where that hot spot would be. And it, mesh is not one of those things that you really want to heat up to begin with and, and kind of pre-strum them to get the hot spots out. Just it's, it's not recommended. Anyway, what I found interesting with this is it's a mouth-to-lung mesh. Mesh by itself needs a lot of airflow. Mouth-to-lung, on the other hand, uses very little to no airflow. This is going to be unique. So what we're going to be looking at today is the Intense RDA. And the reason why I got this is after Bree showed me that, I contacted the company. I said, hey, listen, where do I get one for the purposes of the review? Oh, don't worry about it. We'll send you some. They did exactly that. It's always nice. It really is. And you really can't ask for any better promotion than that is when a person that does reviews on the products is asking the company where to get their product to do a review on it instead of the actual company having to contact the actual reviewers. Hmm. It's going to be fun. Mouth to lung RDA. So without further ado, let me bring this down show everything inside of the box. I know I've been doing a lot of RDAs and RTAs. It's just that mods are very few and far between. So I just don't really have them to do reviews on it. So let's flip it. What we're looking at is the Intense Mouth to Lung RDA. Very, very basic packaging. And of course, we're going to be going over the stainless steel versus the black, just because the black, I'm not really going to see any kind of dings, dents, burrs, spurs, cowboy boots. So let's zoom it in. Let's do it. Damn vape on the front. Intense Mesh Mouth to Lung RDA. On the side, you got your UPC color configuration. Scratch and sniff. Uh, it is above the plastic. No, it's not. It's actually on the box. I'm going to assume that this is going to be Leatherman Canthal flavor and scented. Again, just kind of assuming, don't really know because I haven't opened it on the side of the box. And then on the back of the box, Intense Mesh Mouth to Lung RDA. What does that say? First Mesh Mouth to Lung RDA. First CTC System, Charlie's Taco Corner. First Cascading Turtle Cheese System. Pretty cool, man. And then right here, some of the information about the company, the little icons, and then what is included in the box. Basically, not very much. You have your mouth-to-lung RDA, two mesh coils. Oh, my God, that's going to be the death of me. And then a user manual. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got going on. Wow, how interesting. So you have the RDA. 
The drip tip really exudes mouth to lung configuration. Check out the cap. A little clear cap that I guess makes it either a slam cap or maybe they made it so you just replace the top section and then that is the top section of it with a built-in drip tip that doesn't yeah that doesn't come out it's all really one piece very interesting got your user manual down there first peripheral pouch looks like we have some airflow reducers a triple tree some extra o-rings some studded pins a squonk pin and that's kind of it. I guess the insulator we'll take a look at. So it looks like it's just going to be one-sided airflow. They're really, really focusing on that whole mouth-to-lung. Whenever you see just one-sided, that's really what it's typically going to be designed for. And little tiny mesh strips, only two of them. Now, I don't know if they're... Wow, these are really, really tiny. I cannot jack that up. I don't know if they make it so you can purchase additional ones because that configuration itself, I don't know if that's for one coil or two of them. I'm sure we'll see. So this is the dripper. On the top, you do have a 510 drip tip comes out. Doesn't look too terrible on the top up there. No scratches. Wow, not even any fingerprints on the top. On the bottom side, what do we got? Designed and manufactured by Damn Vape. Two screws, probably to remove the post, and then of course your 510, which is an Allen key. And then there's your airflow. That actually doesn't look too reduced. Those little marks are for me, so we'll go ahead and spin this. Don't see any screw. Okay, I thought that was a, something else. Intense on the side, not super large with the branding. It's a little knurled sections on the top let's take it apart let's take a look at it pretty good on the inside there a little water spot could be cleaned a little bit better not that big of a deal though on the top the name of the company damn vape it's subtle and the cool thing about that is again being extremely meticulous but that is hidden by default so you don't have to worry about that really taking up a lot of room wait so the airflow thing goes inside there Sorry about that, customer had walked in. So basically, the way that the airflow insert works is once you put it in, it's not very easy to grab out because there's no notch or any kind of cutout to really grab it. And I, I don't feel like I really need to do that because the way that it is already, you have not only the insert, but you can also spin the top section to reduce the airflow that way. And if you don't like the stainless steel, you can run with the clear, which is basically going to look just like that. And then you have all these little extra airflow ports here. Definitely mouth the lung. And of course, we're going to use this one just because, well, that's what's by default. Let's take a look at the deck. Now, I did pop this off, as you saw in the beginning. Okay, so you would unscrew this all the way and then put this block in here. And that goes between the mesh and the cotton. You see? So you have all that room right there. And then when you do that, you screw it down that so it acts like the riff cord duo type deal or the ncr where this is like the back pressure plate that's going to push the cotton towards where the mesh is airflow is going to come in from the side and then go up that is wow okay definitely unique so let's uh let's give that a whirl i'm assuming it's meant for just one coil or one strip No, what's really cool with that is there's that little stopper, so you don't have to worry about it not being even. It's like the end smoke, breathe me in and let me go. Filling the lungs inside you. And the black and eyes make my way into your mind. Just to know what you knew. Christmas every time we start. Because of this plate, you can really tighten it down and those little ridges that were in there push that cotton against this. So for people like me that have no idea how to build on mesh, this right here is kind of foolproof. Oh, you saw a little bit of a hot spot up there. 
right here. So that, yep, see how I can fit that in? So we could go a little bit tighter. Nope, still see it. Just gonna kind of push that in a little bit more. Now it's gone. Very good. Do you see that? Look how tight that is. Wow. A little messy, but... Yeah, no more hot spots. It does say mouth to lung, but I'm more interested in the non mouth to lung rendition right there. Once again, that is the intense RDA with an intense drip tip. That's, I'm sorry, I can't. We're going to have to figure something else out. I think that kind of just works the best, right? Don't have to worry about any spit back. Intense RDA. Let's bring it on the top. Here we go. Back on top with the intense mouth to lung RDA. Guys, listen, you have no idea how it feels to me when I do a product review and it's something that is totally different. The only thing that I could say that is very, very close to what this is would be the Whiffcord Duo right here. The only problem was, though, that used different materials than what this does. It's really cool because for people that don't know how to do mesh, like myself, and you get lots of hot spots because of lack of cotton, like my cotton, it gives you a pressure plate to really put against that stainless steel or whatever type of mesh that you're using and push that cotton against it so you don't have to worry about it. And then, like you saw what I did, because I had that hot spot after holding it down, I, I just moved some of the cotton over and kind of packed it in there and then tightened it up, and then no more hot spots. The one issue I kind of have with this, without even vaping this, is dripping down the center. Because it's a 510 drip tip, obviously you have less room to stick your nozzle in there and kind of squeeze it and juice it up. But then you have that whole plate with that little sliver of where your airflow is going to go through. I feel like that could have been designed a little bit different. Maybe make a pressure plate that's open in the back because you don't need that whole loop around. Just a, I, while I get the idea behind it is to, here, let me explain. So what they could have done, instead of having this little pressure plate loop around like that, they could have made it flat, like a just a straight bar, and then when you drip down the center, put a little channel in it, go right down there. And I hate giving advice, but because they sent this to me, I don't mind doing it. And I think that would make it that much better as far as dripping down the center. But I get the idea. It's a mouth to lung. So we want to reduce the amount of airflow that we're going to be getting inside of the chamber. I'm going to assume off the jump, because this airflow is literally directed right to the mesh and going straight up, the amount of flavor is going to be insurmountable. Usually with mesh, it's just kind of a, a half rainbow or a rainbow. Airflow comes in from all over the place, hits the mesh and into your mouth. And everybody loves that flavor. Look, I use mesh daily in sub ohm tanks. I don't use them in RDA just because I don't like to. The problem you have with this, because I'm using so little bit of cotton, you see how that sits up there? Because I'm using so little bit of cotton, what's gonna happen is that's gonna dry up really, really quick. If you used more, which would be better than what I'm doing, I'm using an extremely thin piece, so that's kind of my fault. I feel like I should re-wick this, but there we go, we're good now. So you see, that's it. No hot spots, right? Right. It says not to vape this over 30, so what I did was a little bit ridiculous. 29.5, and you look at the power. It is not enough for what this is. This, That's 2.3 volts. Here we go. Wow. Okay. Whoa. 
See, in my mind, what I wanted to do was do what you do with, wow, normal mesh. Don't do that. That's not what this is. It's a very, very thin strip. And although that is not enough of power, I mean, you see the power, 2.3, 2.3. And again, just because of that mesh RDA, let me just pop this and show you, no hot spots. That's not it. There we go. You see it? None. Now, I'm not using this with the mouth-to-lung configuration. I'm using it with the... There's a little nipple that I didn't even mention, but you heard it just snap in. This is a very different type of mesh RDA. Extremely different. Very restrictive direct lung. Now, I'm going to dial this in. I really, 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 really do not want to, but I'm going to use... The absolute smallest, you can't even tell, the smallest hole, but keeping the insert out of it. So we're just using the top section as the airflow reducer. Here we go. Wow, that nicotine right in the chest. Okay, let me, let me, hold on. Uh. Okay, uh, definitely, definitely possible without even using the insert. All the way open. Got a little bit of a whistle to it, you hear that? Okay. Wow. This might be the actual first mesh RDA that I actually like. Now, let me just stop you before you... I, I saw you with your hand up ready to smack the keyboard. Wait! When I did the profile RDA, I, that might... I don't know if that was the first mesh RDA that I did a review on. Little correction, I have to throw in there. The first mesh RDA that I did a review on was the Cedo mesh. Right up in here, I'm going to post the link. That's the first mesh RDA I've done. People have to understand that that's sarcasm. It's satirical. It's a joke. It's meant to be funny. It's not meant to offend anybody. People said I didn't know how to build. You know, if there's a way to bring me down, people are going to bring me down. With this, there's not much room for error. Let's just say you don't know how to do mesh. You're worried about hot spots. I did put a very thin slice of cotton in there. You could fold it over and make it more... I don't want to say fluffy but bigger in a sense, and then compress it so you have more wicking material versus the very thin slice that I did. Every cotton is going to be different. Understand that. If you use Mavitin's X, or if you use Egyptian cotton, or if you use cotton bacon or cotton balls, Q-tips, tampon, don't use that. Maxi, don't use that one either. Uh, any type of cotton, why didn't this come with any? Uh, you're going to give me the strips, but why not just throw in like one of those aglet jammies, kind of put it in there. At the same time, most people that are getting this, well, in defense of people that are getting this, if they've never built before, they probably don't have the materials to do so. To me, in my mind, the way that I look at mesh is someone may argue and say that it's the exact opposite of what I'm going to say. This specifically is designed for beginners. You have a plate in the back that presses against it. I don't know if I've ever seen that done on any RDA. And you really need that done in a mesh versus a regular coil. That would make no sense at all. This does. And the airflow is literally, let me pop off the top section. Like, you can't look at the airflow. It goes right, is that in right? Yeah, no, that's in right. It goes right to that mesh. But you see, when you juice up, it's just kind of, you'll, you'll see. Hopefully, hopefully the camera, no, the camera's, so look, you put the juice in, watch what happens. It kind of just sits there and then wicks into the little bit of cotton. I like it. The only thing that I could really, well, let, let me give you some things. They could do that little thing where they change that pressure plate, put a channel in it so juice will go down and into the well. They can also make it a little bit thinner. It doesn't need to be as large as what it is. The airflow, 
maybe make it open a little bit more so not only are you targeting mouth to lung i feel like a lot of chinese companies are scared of doing this labeling a tank or an rda as both mouth to lung and direct lung because when have you ever seen direct lung rta very rarely it does happen but you see a lot of mouth to lung because they're trying to target that niche group making it so it does both which this does do but it is restrictive and it's not restrictive as what most people may think like all the way open it's you could see me doing a, a direct lung inhale Ow. Dude, that hits that hits well so if i had to rate this rda on a zero to ten i'm gonna give it an eight easy extremely simple to build user friendly I think that this is the best mesh RDA I've ever used, without a doubt. And that's even including that super high-end one where you did the mesh wrap around. You can't go wrong with this, man. You have a plate to push against the mesh. We've seen it where it pushes on the bottom to make room for cotton, like on the profile. Uh, that I think the mesh V2 did that, which is the one with the hot spots. This is the exact opposite approach. Put the cotton against the mesh, tighten it down, slammed against it. And the best part of this all is who the hell is damn vape? You get what I'm saying? Like, who are they? You have a small company that is being this innovative. So when companies say, oh, we're just making an RDA, we've changed the screw and it's innovative. Okay, here comes this company. I feel like I had this same argument with this same company. Well, it's not really an argument, but it's a good point. With their lolly tool, what other RDA has done that? Please enlighten me. Tell me one RDA, one, that comes with a tool like the Lolly. Don't give me a clone. Uh, and don't give me something that came out afterwards. Tell me something that came out before that that has done that. You're not going to. Tell me something that has done this. You're not going to. That is what sets a precedence, and that is is what makes a difference. How many people are gonna go out and go buy this? I have no idea, but I can tell you this, because of the innovation alone on this, even if this vape as if I was sucking on this bottle, like this is how I was getting my neck on, and you see me hitting it, been sitting. It hits though, man. And I get it, I'm not using it as its mouth to lung configuration. I don't need to. And you don't even need to use the insert if you so choose. I'm sure you can restrict this down even tighter, but there's no point. Just turn that top cap. That's it. Eight is where I'm going with a Chinese RDA. You guys did good. I've kept it real. Have you?